Alright, well, I had soda last night. Oh my goodness. A new low. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I lost weight again. I was sure I wouldn't. Oh my goodness. Well, great. Oh, hey, I might get below 240 one of these days. Ooh, Grandma DC here. I don't have any glasses on because I've laid them down somewhere. Oh. I can tell this is a scud. I'm talking to myself again, aren't I? It's time for hugs already? Uh-oh. I hear a kitty. Better go check it out. And I better find some glasses. Or I'm going to be talking to you and I can't see you. This is such a bummer. Oh, that's better. There you are. Okay. And we're back. Were the kitties okay? All right, guys. I am so shocked. Uh, because not only did I eat at the Mongolian restaurant, and I had two big plates of beef and pork and chicken and a little vegetable for flavor. Didn't seem to kill me, but I'm not going to push that issue too much. But Mom calls me up last night, and she's like, Rick, and I want to go to the casino. Do you want to ride along? And I'm like, oh, yeah. I am so bored here at the house. I think I had read every e No kisses. Hugs are okay. Yes, I'm getting hugged. Can you see this? Mm -mm. People wonder why I love this dog. Uh, <laughs> speaking of hugs, but actually, no kisses. Okay. It kind of brings me to the subject of my story today. And it's a pretty good one for ladies. If you're a man, you may not want to hear this. <laughs> But uh, it is about us middle-aged widowed women or middle-aged single women. And I want to talk to you about fairy tales. The lies that people tell us. Oh, yes. It is true. Right, Scud? As you know, I've been widowed for 19 years, going on 20. And when I... Okay, Scud, we're going to have to make compromise. <laughs> Sit. We'll be a good boy. And as you know, I had tried for a couple of relationships, and uh, they never worked out. And anyone who's watched my videos for a long time knows my theory of why there are no good men left out there. <laughs> oh, that statement gets me in so much trouble. And I'm not going to go through the percentages again, because I don't have them memorized. But let's just say this. Women live longer. All the good ones are taken. Okay. And so, uh, what's left is left for a reason, ladies. So, here I am on Facebook. And uh, under Elise, E-L-I-S-E, Keith, K-E-I-T-H, in Lincoln, Missouri. I've had a lot of you friend me. You have to tell me you're one of my YouTube family. Uh, sometimes you don't. But for the most part, yes. So, I get a friend request from a man. And it's like, I, I really want to be your friend. And, I, I, you know, I'm open to the possibility of friendship. Right? Oh. <laughs> right, Dwayne! I have a friend named Dwayne. Grampy Campy's homestead. Dwayne's a sweet man. He's taken. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, friendship, fine. But, ladies, here's the warning. First off, his name was backwards. Instead of being Kyle Moore, it was Moore Kyle. And it was spelled M-O-O-R-E. And I thought, could be just backwards name. No problem. So I sent a message back. I did friend him. And I sent a message back, and I'm like, are you one of my YT fam? Now, two warnings here, ladies. And here's the red flags, right? He sent me this message at 1130 at night, which means that wherever he was, it was probably earlier in the day, and he was working. Probably in a big shop full of computers. <laughs> and he didn't answer me until the next day when uh, over around Africa it would have been working hours. When he answered me, he ignored my question. And I put YT fam because if you didn't know what that was, you would say, what is that? Or if you're in America, you would go, oh, YouTube family. Okay. Yes, you would answer the question. He didn't answer the question. He immediately wanted me to upload some program to speak with him on. Why? You're messaging me on Messenger. Why? Red flag number three. 
So I put back this, I've been, gotta warn you, I've been scammed before. And I get back this, oh yes, me too. Oh, sympathy, sympathy. Block. You know how to block on YouTube? Look it up under help. Just put how to block people. Every one of them that ever, ever messages me is male has been a scammer. If I was wrong and more Kyle was just more dumb, then I didn't want to be his friend anyway. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Kyle. Three strikes, you're out. Be careful, ladies. Really be careful. And this brings me to why it is okay to be single and alone. And once you become widow, no one tells you that. Everyone wants to comfort you, and what do they say? Oh, there's someone out there for you. There's someone out there for everyone. No, there's not. No, there's not. Get used to being alone. Okay? I just heard a story about a middle-aged woman who had been single for a long time, like myself, and she tried for a relationship with a wonderful man. Oh, he was so good to her. Flowers, love, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet. And did just all kinds of things with her. And then she found out he's married. But by then she was in love. Too late. And this intelligent, wonderful woman tried to commit suicide over this man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Not worth it. Okay. So then people will say to you, well, you're a man-hater. And you'll deny it and deny it and deny it. No, I don't hate men. I mean, I have men that are friends. Keep them at arm's length. I kind of liked the plumber when he was plumbing, but then he left, <laughs> as men do. And it was like, left me in a mess again. It's not bitter. People will say you're bitter. People will say that you're, you know, an old witch. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. And, you know, they put you down all kind of negative ways because you go, I don't need a man in my life. I don't want a man in my life. And isn't that always the assumption? I mean, people are like, you're single, you, you, oh, you poor thing. You have no companionship. You have no love. You have no one to hug you. Well, ladies, welcome to the new hug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was trying to climb in my lap on the other side. Scud's already at my back. I have hugs. I get hugs every day. Oh my gosh, I get too many hugs and kissy wessies. And I can't believe the cats haven't showed up. They're busy eating. I got smart and fed them before I started. So yeah, ladies, there's hugs to be had. Don't worry about that. Alright guys, I tell you, it was fun going out last night. We didn't do a whole heck of a lot. I lost a little, not a lot. -le. And because I am saving money, to get the toilet fixed. And thank you all so much for your donations on my PayPal. My mother even says, I can't find that PayPal donation. And I said, oh my goodness, Mom, I have told a hundred times, click on my goofy looking face. A picture of a bunch of weeds comes up because I can't change it, don't know how. <laughs> and down in the corner it says, donate PayPal. Eh. But she says, well, I wasn't going to donate anyway. I didn't think you were. <laughs> She donates enough time and effort to me, believe you me. I can't believe I dropped to 242. Three pounds, two and a half, three pounds away from being under 240. That would be the first time in long time. Long time, many years. So, as soon as I can uh, get some uh, health insurance back, I, I don't know how long TRICARE Prime is going to be not letting me go on base, uh, I'm going to have to do something about that. I, as soon as I can get a doctor or whatever we can do, since we've been booted, um, I want to have a whole lot of blood tests done. Because I am curious as to what my, well, I, since I had gastric bypass, I need a vitamin level done. I need to have my hormones checked. And I need to have my thyroid checked. But, I have to say that having the big Mongolian meal, and then the other day I had eggs, I had a chaffle with, made with eggs and cheese, and then later that night I had some ground hamburger with a chili seasoning and cheese in it. It was a big eating day for me. I just was bored, I was at home, 
and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and if I feel like eating, I'm going to eat, of course, all animal products, you know. And uh, I really thought I would not lose, but I've been sleeping quite a bit. But then we went and walked around that casino last night, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to do all this walking, I'll gain weight. <laughs> I don't know about that one, guys. It doesn't seem right, but it is. sometimes this world is upside down and backwards, isn't it? And sometimes it's okay to be alone, and it's okay to be able to do what you want when you want, and it's okay to not have a man in your life, and it's okay to not want one. There you go. I said it. I said it. Comment below about how awful I am. That's fine. I just want some women to know it's okay. <laughs> we can band together and hop around a fire naked if we want. You know, the world's our oyster. Isn't it great? And we don't end up being depressed because some man doesn't want us. <laughs> they can be depressed because we don't want them. Oh, what a change. The world is changing, ladies. I love you all. Like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. And as I said, if you want, you can donate on my homepage. I am going to drink some more coffee out of my poison coffee cup I got at the Ren Fair. And I'm still waiting on paperwork from Quicken Loans. Now they're slow since they screwed up the first two. Oh my goodness. When is that ever going to get straightened up? Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye. Well, I'm going to do an on-purpose outtake. I was cruising on my... Quit that. Stop that. It's a cat. Angus! Stop that. I was cruising on Marketplace just looking at trucks. I still live in hope that someday I could get a truck and put my camper on it and actually go camping safely with a four-wheel drive so I didn't get stuck. And um, I saw my truck. No, my truck. You remember all blue? The one whose transmission went out and the guy said the engine was too weak and it wouldn't pull or anything, but it had that gorgeous inside. It was a 1988. I love that truck and it's on Marketplace. You know, it ended up getting scrapped for $300. The guy told me it wasn't worth fixing and so he gave me $300 to scrap it. It was blue. Not only was the rust matching, but blue had this weird little th the odometer in the corner on the dash that someone had added to it. And, uh, yeah, the guy had a picture of the inside, and it had the same almost exact mileage as Blue did when I ended up scrapping him. That was weird. Uh, and I'm going to show you a quick excerpt of, remember my Aunt Toadie? I had you at her 90th birthday. We were all there, and everyone's like, she don't look 90. Mom's older sister. She's on Channel 4 News. I'm going to see if I can pull it up and give you a quick preview of that. Really cool, guys. Say hey to Aunt Toad for me. Ah, her real name's Lois. What you gonna do? In America. Absolutely, people growing around here too. People yeah. of all ages picking up a racket to just try and give it a shot. Now, only on 41 Action News, anchor Richard Sharp introduces us to one player who proves that it is never it's too late to It's my Aunt Toady. My mini-me. Before all the lights are on, a new century field house. 90-year-old Lois White is ready. I like all sports. She's here for pickleball. You know she's four foot nine, guys. Around. Uh -oh, Unlike me. Too hard again. If I play anything, I try to do the best I can. Yeah, that's mom's sister. Lois doesn't move like a 90-year-old. No matter if it makes me have pains, I play. <laughs> that's it, She's dude. played all kinds of sports in her lifetime and only took up pickleball in the last year. I guess I've done about everything in my life. Since the day Lois picked up a paddle, she has continued to get better. Bob Glenda, who is 63, teaches pickleball. His first student was Lois. I want to be like her when I grow up. She doesn't look, act, or behave like someone who I, you know, what we used to think of as 90. You don't have to be hardcore like Lois to enjoy pickleball. In fact, that's what makes this sport so popular. Now it's one of the fastest growing sports in the United States. It's a very social game. It's a fun game. Uh, almost anybody can do it. It seems like almost every community center in the region now offers pickleball. For Lois, uh -oh. she plays it to stay young and keep up with her 29 great grandchildren. Zero, zero, two. She has some advice, but you might not want to hear it. These older people need to get out and do things if they want to live. <laughs> That's the way I felt. In Johnson County. This is what we do. I'm Richard Sharp, 41 Action News. Well, yeah, keep moving, but don't exercise a whole bunch or you'll gain weight. No, I...
that's not true. You do need to kind of move somewhat to keep those muscles and things working. I just find for weight loss for my particular type of body, and I'm not built like Lois. No, I'm five foot nine and always been big. She's always been under five foot and tiny, tiny. So I'm not going to live to be in my 90s. I'm sure of that. Tall people don't live that long, I found out. <laughs> but she's great. And I just wanted you all to see that. Yes, yeah, she is pretty amazing. And that's how come I know Mother's going to live to be in her 90s also. She's short, too. 